Today we're going to talk about how to get into Johns Hopkins Medical School. If you hope to attend a world-renowned medical school, the Johns Hopkins School of Medicine in Baltimore, Maryland should be right at the top of your list. Ranked number two for research and number 20 for primary care by the US News and World Report, Johns Hopkins Medical School produces medical leaders who win Nobel Prizes and make groundbreaking research discoveries. It's no surprise that Johns Hopkins attracts competitive applicants from around the world. The mission of Johns Hopkins Medical School is to prepare physicians to practice compassionate clinical medicine of the highest standard and to identify and solve fundamental questions in the mechanisms, prevention, and treatment of disease in healthcare delivery and in the basic sciences. For over a hundred years, Johns Hopkins has fulfilled this mission and shaped the field of medicine. If you're a high achieving pre-med student with dreams of attending Johns Hopkins Medical School, it won't be easy. That's why we're here to help. I'm Dr. Shirak Shemasyan, medical school admissions expert at Shemasyan Academic Consulting. In this video, we'll discuss Johns Hopkins Medical School's curriculum and programs, acceptance rate, and admissions requirements. We'll also share strategies to help you craft outstanding secondary essays and ace the interview so you can maximize your chances of getting into Hopkins. Let's get started. The four-year MD program at Johns Hopkins Medical School follows a curriculum called Genes to Society. In year one, students study the foundations of medicine while engaging in a longitudinal clerkship based in a nearby primary care clinic. They'll also begin working on their scholarly concentrations, which can be focused on clinical research, history of medicine, public health research, or humanism, ethics, education, and the arts of medicine. Students continue their longitudinal clerkships and study organ systems during the first half of year two. Then, students transition to the wards and begin core clerkships in medicine, surgery, pediatrics, OBGYN, neurology, psychiatry, and in emergency medicine. This is six months before most med students in other programs start their core clinical rotations. In year three, students begin advanced specialty clerkships. Between rotations are one-week intersessions covering topics like genomics, cancer, and regenerative medicine. In the fourth and final year, students complete an advanced critical care clerkship, take medical electives, and match into residencies. The Genes to Society curriculum is advantageous to med students because they begin their clinical experiences much earlier and have the opportunity to integrate their medical studies in the classroom with practical application in a patient care setting. Johns Hopkins Medical School offers an eight-year MD-PhD program for students who want to make groundbreaking medical discoveries as physician scientists. MD-PhD students' tuition is fully covered, plus they receive an annual $30,000 stipend. Only 15 to 18 students enter this competitive program each year. There are also several dual degree programs available that might interest you depending on your career goals. The MD-MBA program with the Johns Hopkins Carey Business School will develop you into a leader in the healthcare marketplace by empowering you to achieve better medical outcomes through smarter business practices. MD-MBA alumni may continue on to become medical directors of group practices or serve as scientific liaisons translating medical discoveries into sellable products. The MD-MS in Healthcare Management degree also through the Carey Business School, will prepare you to change the industry and improve the quality of healthcare. Through this program, you will gain the skills to open up a community clinic in an underserved area or serve as a consultant for local healthcare policies. The MD Master in Bioethics program offered by the Berman Institute of Bioethics combines science and technology to prepare you for the bioethical challenges you'll face in your medical career. With this training, you might serve in public policy, clinical practice, or scientific research as an advisor, finding ethical solutions to concerns arising from new medical discoveries. And the MD-MPH program with the Bloomberg School of Public Health will empower you to address global health problems with multidisciplinary approaches. Alumni of this dual degree program continue on to serve as consultants, project leaders, and researchers for public health agencies, protecting and advocating for vulnerable populations. We encourage you to explore your medical career options and define your goals to see if any of these advanced programs are right for you. What does it cost to attend Johns Hopkins Medical School? Now that you're excited about these programs and curriculum, let's look at the price of Johns Hopkins Medical School. The 2019 to 2020 tuition is $56,800, and the total cost of attendance, including room and board, supplies, and transportation, 
comes out to $83,000. While this seems expensive, Johns Hopkins offers over 150 need-based scholarship and loan opportunities to its students to reduce the total cost. Over 80% of students benefit from either institutional or federal aid. The average Johns Hopkins graduate takes on about $120,000 of medical school debt. This number is much lower than the average for all med school graduates, which is $232,000 according to the National Center of Educational Statistics. Plus, attending a prestigious school like Johns Hopkins improves your odds of matching into competitive residencies in high-earning specialty areas that will make it easier for you to repay your med school loans. How hard is it to get into Johns Hopkins Medical School? It should come as no surprise that getting into Johns Hopkins Medical School is challenging. Over 6,000 students applied in 2019. 856 students, or 14%, were interviewed, and 256 students, or 4%, were admitted. In the end, 120 students, or 2%, matriculated. These numbers are enough to make any high-achieving pre-med nervous. So what were the stats of these admitted students? Well, the median MCAT score was 521, or the 98th percentile. If we widen our scope to consider the 10th to 90th percentile range of accepted students, the MCAT range was 516 to 525, or the 93rd to 100th percentile. The median for both science and total GPA was 3.95. The 10th to 90th percentile range for science GPA was 3.78 to 4.0, and for total GPA it was 3.83 to 4.0. Clearly, Johns Hopkins Medical School attracts the best of the best. If you're preparing to take the MCAT soon, you might be nervous about earning a score in the 98th percentile or above. Fortunately, we have a number of resources on our site that were developed by a student who earned a perfect score on the MCAT. If anything can help you earn a Johns Hopkins worthy MCAT score, those guides will. There's a link in the description below. You should also check out our 528 MCAT score series on YouTube to find videos covering the best study tips for each section of the MCAT you'll find that link below too. Beyond having impressive stats, what else is Johns Hopkins looking for in its applicants? Let's find out. What are the Johns Hopkins Medical School admissions requirements? Johns Hopkins Medical School requires applicants to take full years of biology, general chemistry and physics, plus single semesters of organic chemistry and biochemistry. It also requires one year of calculus or statistics. Because Johns Hopkins seeks well-rounded students who will excel in patient care, it requires eight classes total in the humanities, social, and behavioral sciences too. Applicants are also encouraged to become conversational in a foreign language so they can better improve healthcare delivery across all communities. Beyond these academic requirements, Johns Hopkins Medical School looks for students who possess qualities of leadership, service, compassion, creativity, and the ability to work in a team. You should demonstrate these characteristics through your extracurriculars and your essays. Find opportunities to be a leader and show your creativity by solving the health problems you see in your community. Johns Hopkins matriculants have impressive extracurricular backgrounds. 98% have research experience, 92% have medical volunteer experience, and 83% engage in community service. If you want to get into Hopkins, be prepared to work hard and commit yourself to activities that demonstrate Hopkins' mission and values. We know choosing the right extracurriculars can be stressful, so be sure to check out our guide linked in the description below. How to write exceptional Johns Hopkins Medical School secondary essays. Your Johns Hopkins Medical School secondaries give you the opportunity to tell your story and prove that you're a future leader in medicine. Make a list of your best qualities relating to Johns Hopkins' mission. Then, think of when and where you demonstrated these qualities. Once you've found the best experiences to use for each prompt, Write those events as stories that'll engage your application readers. And remember, it's important to show, not just tell. Prove you possess these qualities rather than just saying you do. Use this approach with every secondary essay. When you finish this video, be sure to read our supplementary guide, How to Get Into Johns Hopkins Medical School, to find full-length essay examples that will show you how to apply these strategies we're about to dive into. There's a link in the description to that as well. Question number one. Briefly describe your single most rewarding experience. Feel free to refer to an experience previously described in your AMCAS application. When choosing which experience to describe, first consider which of your qualities you want to demonstrate. 
For example, you might show your compassion and desire to help people by speaking of the summer you spent driving patients to and from chemo treatments. However, if you've already proved your compassion in other parts of your application, look for a new quality to illustrate. Don't waste application space by repeating the same information over and over. The real state on your application is too valuable and limited for you to be unnecessarily repetitive. This essay can be your opportunity to demonstrate your ability to work on a team or show how you creatively found the solution to a challenging problem. Question two, are there any areas of medicine that are of particular interest to you? If so, please comment. In this answer, share your motivation for choosing a specific area of medicine, such as primary care, surgery, dermatology, pediatrics, or oncology. Picture your dream career. Who are your patients and what are you treating them for? What motivates you toward that specific dream? That's what you'll write about in this essay. For example, you might share your dream of working with children who have autism and conducting research on language development because you have a younger sibling with autism who never learned to speak. You'll want to make sure your enthusiasm comes across in your writing. Have a friend or one of the experienced admissions consultants from our team read it over and ask if your excitement is evident. To craft a strong response and impress the Johns Hopkins Adcom, you'll want to address how you hope to advance your chosen field and how your past experiences have prepared you to do so. Prove you're the type of future leader Johns Hopkins seeks. Question three, briefly describe a situation where you had to overcome adversity. Include lessons learned and how you think it will affect your career as a future physician. The purpose of adversity questions is for Johns Hopkins to see how well you manage stress and deal with difficult situations, an important aspect of a physician's job. You don't have to share the biggest adversities you faced in life, though you could. An effective essay can be as simple as recounting when your beloved pet ran off and you enlisted the help of your community to find it. Whatever you write on, be sure to focus on the steps you took to resolve the problem and remember to reflect on the lessons you learned through the experience. To make your essay especially effective, show how the challenges you face make you a perfect fit for Hopkins Medical School's mission, programs, and resources. For more strategies on how to tackle the adversity question, check out our Medical School Secondary Essay Guide, where we address common misconceptions and offer compelling sample essays for every common prompt. Link in the description box below. Question four, briefly describe a situation where you were not in the majority. What did you learn from the experience? Somewhat similar to a diversity essay, you might choose to answer this question by discussing your ethnic or socioeconomic minority background. However, with a prompt so broad, you can widen your scope to discuss any minority experience. For example, you might describe being in a religious minority at school or being the only male in a women and gender studies seminar. The important thing is to focus on how the experience deepened your sense of self or helped you appreciate others' perspectives making you better prepared to become a compassionate physician. Question number five, this one's optional. The admissions committee values hearing about each candidate for admission, including what qualities the candidate might bring to the School of Medicine if admitted. If you feel there's information not already addressed in the application that will enable the committee to know more about you and how this has influenced your desire to be a physician, feel free to write a brief statement in the space below. You may address any subject you wish, such as being a first-generation college student or being a part of a minority group, whether because of your sexual orientation, religion, economic status, gender identity, ethnicity, or being the child of undocumented immigrants or being undocumented yourself, etc. This is your last chance to convince the admissions committee you're the perfect fit for Johns Hopkins Medical School. First, decide which quality to convey. What quality haven't you demonstrated elsewhere? Or what is so central to who you are that you'd like to emphasize it even further here? Choose a part of your background or an experience that demonstrates this quality. For example, you might show your passion for advocacy and increasing access to healthcare by sharing how you work to pay for your little sister's asthma medication because your family didn't have health insurance. Remember to include how this experience motivated you to become a physician and make you an exceptional match for the mission of Johns Hopkins, which is to improve compassionate patient care and further research in the areas of science, healthcare, and disease. Writing these secondary essays may be the most challenging part of your application, but if they're strongly written, your statements can increase your chances of being invited to interview at Johns Hopkins Medical School. How to prepare for the Johns Hopkins Medical School interview. If you get invited to interview at Johns Hopkins, Give yourself a pat on the back. You've impressed the outcome with your stats, extracurriculars, and essays. 
now you have to prove you're as great in person as you are on paper. Johns Hopkins Medical School conducts traditional one-on-one -on -one interviews. To prepare, make sure you do your research on Johns Hopkins and its programs. Scour the school's website, go on med student message boards, or connect with alumni through LinkedIn. Learn everything you can. In your interview, you'll want to show your enthusiasm for Hopkins and your fit with its mission. Remember to review your AMCAS and secondary applications since your interviews might ask you questions about specific stories or activities you shared. Also, make sure to inquire about interviewers' research interests. Even if you aren't familiar with that field, ask a few thoughtful follow-up questions to show you're able to engage on a professional and academic level with faculty. And don't forget to practice. Set up several mock interviews with classmates, advisors, or one of our admissions consultants. Get comfortable thinking on your feet and answering challenging questions. There you have it. We've shared strategies to help you become a standout candidate for Johns Hopkins. By following our guidance, you'll maximize your odds of getting accepted and making your Johns Hopkins Medical School dreams come true. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. And if you'd like to learn more about the med school admissions process, click the link in the description to get our free comprehensive guide, How to Get Into Medical School. The strategies in the guide are the same ones our team uses to routinely help students get into top schools like Johns Hopkins. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.